Hi, this is Dennis with Battleborn Batteries, and today I want to talk about what happens when you try to connect your Battleborn battery bank to a large inverter charger. And by large, I mean above about 3,500 watts. So I've got a setup here right now where I've got a 5,000 watt Quattro inverter charger, Victron Quattro. I'm connecting it to only one battery. So you can see this is an undersized system anyway. But what I want to note is that in a large inverter charger like that, there's a large input capacitance. When those capacitors are empty, it's almost like a dead short on the battery. So I have the battery right now connected on the positive side through this switch to the inverter and then connected on directly on the negative side. So when I turn the switch on, it's gonna connect the batteries directly to those input capacitors on the Quattro. And if you notice the voltage on the battery, I want you to see what happens when I actually make that connection. The voltage dropped immediately to five volts. Now that five volts is meaningless because now the battery is disconnected. The reason that it's disconnected is because the battery itself detected a short circuit. So when you try to connect to empty capacitors, it's basically like a dead short. Now you know this is a short circuit event because you can see that it stays here at five volts, it's not reconnecting. If it had been a high current event, for example, you were over 100 amps for more than 30 seconds, it would automatically reset after five seconds. But in this situation, the only way to reset it is to actually disconnect the load. So I open the switch and it comes right back up. So how do you connect your battery bank to a large inverter charger? The answer is you need to mitigate that initial current surge we've developed a device we call the Current Surge Limiter or the CSL500. So we're gonna connect it right now and show you what happens when we do. So the CSL is gonna be mounted in between the battery and the inverter on the negative side. So it's basically gonna be connected in series on the negative side, but there's also a positive sensor wire that's labeled INV+, which should be connected directly to the inverter on the positive side. So you can either connect it directly to the inverter there, or at least on the inverter side of the switch. If you connect it to the wrong side of the switch, then it won't work because the device will think that your capacitors are already charged when they're not. Now we have the CSL connected from the negative terminal of the battery to the terminal labeled BAT negative, and then from the terminal labeled INV negative to the negative terminal of the inverter charger. And we also have our positive sensor wire, which we have connected on the inverter side of the switch. So now when we actually close the switch, take a look at the voltage on the battery bank, hardly any change at all. This is because the current surge limiter limited the current to charge the capacitor. So we never went into short circuit disconnect. So now it's fully connected, but now that the voltage on the capacitors is full, is basically at 13 volts, this basically takes itself out of the system. So we are no longer limiting current with the CSL because the voltage on the sensor wire now reached 13.86 volts. So now we can turn on the inverter and it immediately starts inverting and delivering power. If you have any questions at all about your inverter size, about your battery bank, about when to use the CSL, do not hesitate to contact us at Battleborn Batteries.